Hey guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your fifth Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over the second part of the class and that's the implementation. Now we already gave our program something called an interface and this pretty much said what's going to be in the class. Um, we have an age, a weight, and a couple methods. So what the implementation section is, is, is pretty much a way to say, alright, we told you we're going to have some methods in the implementation section. We're going to give you actual instructions on how to do the methods. For example, if we had a method called sleep, we're going to say in our implementation section, we would say, all right, in order to sleep, um, brush your teeth, lay in bed, put your head on the pillow, close your eyes. So let's go ahead and uh, just get started. So unlike last time where you said at interface to give the interface, you need to do at implementation there we go I want to make sure I didn't type it right in big words and what you have to do after this is say what class you're working with and it's the same one as your interface person so this is an implementation for person so let's go ahead and inside this we can go ahead and start building our methods so the first method we had is remember we had print set age and set weight so here's a cool thing. In order, a method consists of two parts. The method header, which is the name of the method pretty much, and the method body. And inside the method body is the instruction. And the cool thing, we already got our method header built. So go ahead and copy this, and go ahead and paste it. This is the method header. What it means is what kind of information are you going to be receiving back and what's the name of it again we already built all this so pretty cool now in order to build the method body go ahead and put curly braces and inside your curly braces right after this is the instruction of whenever I use this method called print what do I want to happen well whenever we uh, use this method called print what do we want to happen let's just go ns log which means print out on the screen and then go ahead and put at in quotation marks I get rid of all the uh, stuff I don't like doing first and then go ahead and put I am uh, let's put percent I which is going to be age so I am 23 years old and weigh uh, percent I should we put libs alright let's go ahead and put pounds I don't like LBS how does that make how does that mean pounds at all LBS does make sense so we're going to say I am variable years old and weigh variable pounds so now it needs two variables and that of course would be the age and the weight so that's why the um, print format that I taught you guys like two tutorials ago that's where it's coming in handy so we already got the method built we got the method header and the method body that makes up the method done so now we got two more methods to build right here so let's go ahead and copy this one, set age, except for the semicolon, copy it and paste it right under here. And paste. So now when we build the method body, here's what this method header is saying. We have a method that's going to return nothing. We're not going to want anything in return. It's going to be called set age, just because we thought it was a cool name. And it's saying, all right in order for me to do this method I need some bit of information so you better be passing me a number here and I'm gonna treat it as the variable a so here's what's going on here you're gonna have a number you're gonna pass in later like 23 so whenever you use a it's gonna be equal to 20 equal to 23 so let's go ahead and set age our age variable equal to a so pretty much age is going to eventually be equal to 23 when we get to the next section simple enough and let's do the same thing with the set weight method copy the method header let me see there we go and the method body this Mac look at my keyboard on this look how tiny this is it's like a phone it's like a cell phone hello hello anyways that's why I'm like, all right, where are the numbers on the right-hand side and taking a long time and stuff? It's my first Mac. I apologize. But anyways, back to the tutorial. Let's go ahead and set weight equal to W. And then once we're done 
with the implementation section which pretty much means instructions on how to do the method go ahead and press at end so how does your computer know when the implementation starts it says at implementation and how does it know when this section ends at end so here's what we did our implementation section is pretty much essentially to build our methods we built the print method just by putting in a print statement in that's the only instruction we have to do for the set age method we gave it our method header and we said alright as an argument we're going to pass in an, an integer value that's going to be treated as the variable a so whenever you get that variable set it equal to age and we're going to be doing the same thing with weight later on in our program we're going to be calling this method called set weight and then we're going to put a number what we want our weight to set to so go ahead and set that weight equal to w and in the next tutorial we're going to be going over the main programming section and this is gonna put everything to use and make everything make sense so for now uh... that's all the time i have but thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you later